what's going on everybody fishing the odds here um, today we're gonna do a little video on how to tie your own jigs getting ready for steelhead winter is coming <laughs> and right now we're in Ed's little studio here and you can see his fish right behind me yeah so we, we got a bunch of different stuff we got we got different colors as you guys can see it's probably not gonna focus oh there you go it's gonna focus on that yeah. we got flash here I mean I mean we got all kinds of stuff we got some marabou we got blacks reds um, so yeah, we're, we're just gonna go over uh, how to tie your jig so you guys can get prepared for steelhead before steelhead happens, right? Because a lot of guys will post videos in like March and stuff, steelhead's, get, steelhead's winding down, March and April, you know, and I just wanted to get you guys prepared for getting out there uh, if you're a jig fisherman. Vices are cheap. We got a vice over here in the corner. We'll show you guys that in a minute, but it's not very hard, so stay tuned and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. I'm gonna hold this down here. That way I can get some grip on it and get some wraps over it. We can wrap it all the way up. About to where that paint wears off there. Okay, grab back a couple times. Let that hang there. Take your knife. Cut that off right there. Doesn't need to be there. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to take my one feather. That's all I want on this one. I'm going to wrap that, there we go, wrap that up, okay, got my one feather, go a little bit further, come back, put a dash of glue on it right here, that's going to hold, you You don't even have to half it when you got that glue, <laughs> no, alright, let's, uh, what color do I want? I want. I think I'm gonna go with this color. Like a peach. Yeah. So I'll put this on right here. Just wrap just the tip of that. Enough to get it started. Okay. Wind's that heater's kind of blowing the feathers a little bit. But then you're gonna take this. You're gonna wrap it around. Like so. And you're gonna wrap up. It's about how big you want your body. Back a couple times. So now I'm gonna take my body here, give it some contrast, and add to that flavor. Okay, I'm gonna wrap all the way up. about there, do a few wraps coming back. I'm just gonna put some dotted glue on it. Man, I like that glue. It's a waterproof special glue. So this is where you'll cut off some string. Get rid of your wrapping string here. You can see that glue is holding that on there. And then our wrap's gonna cover that little tag. So now we take our wrap, do semi tight wraps. I'll come back a little bit. Put, put a little glue on right here. <laughs> Okay, now hold that and let it dry. Dries pretty quick, huh? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna let this dry for probably, you know, 10 seconds. Just, just hold it tight, that'll be plenty. It was actually, on, on one of the other jigs I tied, my, my hand was holding it and my finger dried to the jig <laughs> in like five, six seconds. So now I'm gonna cut it as close as possible. So there you have it, guys. There is another completed jig. Now see all this extra randomness? You can take scissors and you can trim all that up if you wanted to. Make it a little better, but which I might do here in a minute. But that's it. That's how you tie a jig. Put your feathers on there. Two long feathers. It's 
about how long I want my body. Those feathers are good. So I'll put my, I'm gonna come back a couple times. Put my flash on there. There we go. Come back. So now I got my feathers. I got my flash. And sky is the limit with jigs, guys. Color, everything. Sky is the limit. I'm just doing certain colors to show you guys how to tie jigs. And they got contrast. I feel like I'm gonna really like these colors. So stay tuned on that. You can see I've tied up a bunch already here. Just a couple different colors. But we also got a heater running. It's uh, <laughs> pretty cold. But we're in a shop, but uh, that heater makes it nice. You know what I mean? You can also, if you really wanted to, you could put a dot of this glue on. Put a, put a dot of glue on there, it'll dry up. <clears throat> and you can half hitch too, do a couple half hitches. Do a dot of glue. <clears throat> Whatever. Alright, so, what kind of feather do I want? I could have swore I just cut off a piece. Oh, there it is. Got a little bit of this fluff here. And there's different things you could do. I mean, you can even put some of this on there if you wanted to, or some white, or, you know, some of this peachy color, you know. Um, I'm going to stick to black right here. I'm going to wrap just the tip of that. I can get it. <laughs> there we go. Back off just a little bit. There we go. Got just the tip of that. Then you can take this and wrap around your jig. Wrap around your jig. See? And you got just a little bit of that. It's not huge. The body's not huge. Just a small body for the steel head on this jig. Right? We got some flash. Got this nice feather out the back here. Nice tail. And we got some of this fluff. Okay. Now we can take our body. Just lay it over the top like this. You guys can see. And you're going to wrap. Wrap all the way up about how big you want your body to be. You're still recording the mirrors, right? So right there. So then you can come back just a little bit. Boom, boom. Come back. Okay, so now I've wrapped over the body here. I'm going to half hitch twice. Put that over like this. Slide it up. Okay, got my half hitch. Now, if you want to, it's already half hitched, but you could put a dot of glue. You know, it doesn't hurt. And a little bit of this glue goes a long way, and it's fast drying. So, I'm also going to cut right next to as close as possible. You don't want any of that tag end hanging off. So, you can wrap this either direction, it doesn't really matter. So we put a dot of glue on there just for safety. You don't really need to. And then I'm going to wrap this body. You want some pretty tight wraps. You want to keep it pretty tight. We'll go to there. So I'm going to take my glue. This is the Zappa Gap glue here. I'm going to take that, put it right in the crease. Okay, it's going to dry quick. So now I'm going to take this, do one more wrap just like that. Now I'm going to hold it snug here, just for a second, just, just to let this dry. Okay. And then I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to cut it as close as possible. There you guys go. Nice jig. Going to catch some fish. <laughs> I can promise you that. Just a little bit of flash. We got some, you know, we got some contrast, and we got the feathers, and a little bit of fluff. That's all you need, man. Oh yeah, look at that jig. These are just the pearl white heads. There's different things you can do to those heads and I'll show you guys that in a minute. 
Look at that. Protect powder paint right here, guys, for your jig heads. Uh, take one of our lead heads, and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So let's uh, get some paint on this. Now, there's several colors you could do, but I really like this color right here. It's like a peachish, orangish. It's got some gloss. So you want to take your jig head, get it real hot, okay? You're going to heat this up. Don't get it too hot. Yep. Get it melt in your hand. There we go. There you go. Look at that jig head. <laughs> Look at that jig head, guys. That looks good. So now this this theoretically is enough. That's all you really need to do. But you can also hang them in your oven and get them pretty warm and harden that paint. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's how you paint your jig heads, guys. Simple, huh? Simple. Now we can tie this jig and we got a little bit different contrast. Catch a 20 pounder on that this winter. Huh. Would that be nice? Yeah. Well, Hopefully some of these uh, little tips helped you guys out. All you need is a little vise right here, a little thing to hold your uh, hold your string. It's like a little spool. It's also under tension, so your spool can just hang right here. It's pretty easy. Um, getting ready for winter crow. It's winter steelhead season, baby. Actually, in a couple weeks it is. That's why I wanted to make this video for you guys. But uh, get out there, catch some fish on some jigs that you guys make, and have a little more pride with yourself. And save some money. <laughs> so, yeah. stay tuned. Got more videos coming up all the time. Got that new raft. That raft is going to get on some steelhead this year. So, stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this, comment below. Um, and yeah, tight lines.